Okay, so this is the Eaton Level 2 Power Station EVSE. Now, an EVSE is basically your electric vehicle charging station. It's going to sit in your home, probably in your garage, and when you pull up in your electric vehicle, uh, unfortunately we don't have an electric vehicle to show, so this is our EV simulator. You're going to take this connector and plug it into the similar connector on your car, and that will begin the charging process. Now, our group feels that it's important to be able to monitor and control this charging process remotely because there's data or information a user might want to see while they're not on site of the EVSE itself. So we're going to walk you through a couple of demonstrations of how to use our app that actually allows you to monitor and control this EVSE uh, remotely. Okay, so to remotely control your EVSE, we first have to be able to implement the most basic uh, control, which is turning on and off remotely. Now you can see on the app screen right now that it is currently plugged in and charging. And if you want to turn that off remotely, uh, you can press the stop charging button, press the button to confirm your decision, and that'll send the request. You can see that the light just turned off here, and it should reflect that on your phone that it is now currently plugged in and not charging. Now say you wanna do the flip side of that. You'd like to turn on your vehicle remotely. You can do the same process. It'll send the request. Turn on your EVSC, you can see the light came on, and that should reflect on the phone that your EVSC is now charging. We will now demonstrate our notification system. The user in our application can do more than just starting and stopping the charge. They will actively be notified of events occurring with their charger. We will start by demonstrating the notification received when the EVSC is unplugged from the car. This will send a notification to Google's C2DM from our web server, which will in turn then be sent to the phone. We will now plug it back in, and as you can see, another notification will be generated and sent to the phone, which the user can actively view from their Android device. We'll now demonstrate our application's off-screen notifications. We'll do this by running through a simulation. Our app will notify the user of certain events occurring with EVIC, such as a fault. So we'll start by having the user start the charge, agree to the dialog, and now you can see the EVIC is now charging our simulated vehicle. I will now press this green button to demonstrate what happens when a fault occurs. So the user will now turn off his screen and put his phone in his pocket and go about his everyday life. Now, a fault will occur with the vehicle. As you can see, there is a warning, and you heard the vibration and the ringtone go off of the phone, notifying the user that there has been an update of the status. He can now pull down the notification bar, click on his notification, and will pull up the application and reflect that indeed an error has occurred with the EVSE.